In the year 281 AC, Lord Walter Wendt of Harrenhal chose to honor his maiden daughter's name day by hosting what many considered the greatest tourney of all time. Yet beyond the splendor, pageantry, and rich prizes, the event became shrouded in controversy when Prince Rhaegar Targaryen passed over his wife to name Lyanna Stark, the betrothed of Lord Robert Baratheon, as the Queen of Love and Beauty, thereby sowing the seeds for a terrible civil war which later erupted across the continent. Yet this was far from the only controversy to surround this infamous tournament, as the nobility played the Game of Thrones behind the scenes, with some suggesting the entire ordeal was conceived and financed by a shadow host, as Lord Walter Wendt was not wealthy enough to explain such extravagance. When the Master of Whisperers, Varys the Spider, informed Aerys II that his son Rhaegar may be using the tournament as an excuse to meet with the Great Lords of Westeros to discuss deposing the King, Aerys left the capital for the first time in years to arrive in Harrenhal and disrupt his son's plans. But his actions also weakened his image with the public as they saw his physical deterioration prompted by growing madness and paranoia. In addition to the games of politics and ambition played throughout the event, a number of smaller intrigues also emerged, such as the sudden appearance of the Knight of the Laughing Tree, a mystery knight who dominated the competition for a single day before vanishing forever. Years later, when Mira and Jojen Reed journeyed with Brandon Stark north on a quest to find the Three-Eyed Crow, they told him a story about one of their people, a Cranog man who left his home in the marshlands of the Neck to journey south so he might learn new magics from the reclusive green men on the Isle of Faces. This man, who was likely to be Mira and Jojen's father, Howland Reed, stayed with the Green Men for the winter and departed in the year of the False Spring, 281 AC, just in time to see the tourney of Harrenhal unfolding along the banks of the river and decided to enjoy the festivities before returning home. Yet as he explored and crossed a grassy field, he was suddenly surrounded by three squires, all younger than the small Cranog man, but larger, who mocked his people, took his spear, and pushed him to the ground. The assault then continued as they kicked him into the mud, until the she-wolf, Lyanna Stark, pulled out a sword and came to his rescue, declaring that the man was loyal to her father before chasing them away. Returning to her tent, she treated his wounds and introduced him to her three brothers, Brandon, Eddard, and Benjen Stark. Seeing him as an honored guest, they invited Howland to a great feast, and there he spotted his attackers, seeing one in service to a knight with a pitchfork as his sigil, another to a man with a porcupine, and the last a man from the Twin Towers of Frey. Although Benjen Stark offered to find him a horse and armor to take revenge, Howland feared losing the competition and bringing shame to his house, as he knew little of fighting with a horse and lance. However, on the second day of jousting, a mystery knight, small of stature and wearing mismatched armor, enlisted in the tournament, becoming known as the Knight of the Laughing Tree because he had a shield displaying a white werewood with a laughing red face. By the late afternoon, all three of the knights whose squires attacked Howland Reed held places as champions, and one by one the mystery competitor defeated them all, taking their horses and armor as rightful winnings. When the knights went to pay the ransom for their belongings, the mysterious figure bellowed out in a deep voice, Teach your squire's honor, that shall be ransom enough. All three knights then sharply chastised those who attacked Howland Reed, and so the Cranog Man was avenged. But the identity of the mystery knight was not yet revealed, and after winning the attention of nobles and commoners alike, many clamored to know the truth, with great lords like Robert Baratheon vowing to unmask the competitor the following day. The Knight of the Laughing Tree even caught the attention of the King, who encouraged his own soldiers to defeat him and reveal the truth. Yet when they awoke the next day, the Mystery Knight was gone, leaving no trace save for the painted shield hanging in a tree. Although the identity of this figure was never revealed, some believed it was the Cranog Man himself, Howland Reed, who took up the shield to take his vengeance, while others believe it was one of the Stark brothers acting on his behalf, or perhaps even Lyanna Stark, who was known to have some skill as a fighter. 